This is the Aspire one by Acer. This is the latest version of it which contains a 160 gigabyte hard drive, a six cell battery that will get you a good five hours, and one gigabyte of RAM. First thing I'm going to demonstrate is Firefox browsing performance. Open rather quickly. Go to newegg.com. Everything has been cleared out of the Firefox cache, so this shows full load times. See, it's rather responsive. Go to YouTube to demonstrate Flash. So that works quite well. Now go to Amazon. The screen resolution is 1024 by 600. It's only an 8.9 inch screen, so when you've got limited space like that, I recommend turning off the status bar like so. But the most useful thing that you can do is hit the F11 key which will get you a full screen Firefox mode which allows you to see far more of the browser page. I'll next demonstrate opening a Word document. I have OpenOffice installed on this system which is very snappy. The Aspire One looks a lot like a portable DVD player and in fact is a great replacement for it. If you have movies in iTunes or if you make your own, such as uh, doing digital backups with Handbrake of your DVDs, I find that using a video player called VLC gives the best possible results. And this is an example of the movie Hot Fuzz playing full screen. So it's a great portable video player, especially considering the fact that it has a 160 gigabyte SATA drive instead of a very small SSD drive. I'll also demonstrate this high def trailer which I got from apple.com slash trailers. This is a 480p trailer which given the small screen size is all that you should ever need to play on this. that also plays very well. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, rather important for the Aspire One. This is called the Aspire One Fan Control. If you do a Google search for Aspire One Fan Control, you'll find this and what it does is turns off the built-in fan unless the CPU gets to a certain temperature. Right now um, it's well under it so the fan is not running. By default, the Aspire One will have the fan run all the time, which does certainly annoy uh, certain people, so it's nice to have that fan control, and they have versions of uh, software to control fan control in Windows and in Ubuntu. Um, last but not least, uh, this is a, a great device to play some classic games, such as Asian Mythology or StarCraft.